All right, so let's start with a basic two-table join. Uh, I'm creating some sample questions. These will all be located on Blackboard for you as well, so you can kind of follow along. So the first question we're going to work on is this. List the customer name, which was last and first name, order ID, the order date for all orders placed, and order by increasing order ID. And uh, we're going to do this just to be clear. We're working on the home shopping. database. All right, so we're going to list the customer name, the order ID, and the order date for all orders placed. Increase orders by order ID. Now my thinking for this is usually I try to identify what I need. So I'm going to try to figure out what my fields are. So I know I need a last name and a first name. I know I need an order ID. And I know I need an order date. I'm not quite sure where those are going to come from yet, but I know I've got to find some fields that look like that. So what tables are they going to come from? So the way we can do this is by looking in Blackboard, and um, I've actually got some documents out there that will help you out. If you move over into Blackboard, I'm going to drag this over so you can see it. Let me make sure it's readable. Over here in Blackboard, if you look under Software, and under SQL scripts and documentation, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see some documentation for our databases. We talked a little bit uh, in our class about ERDs. So what I've got is I've got some ERDs along with documentation all prepared for you out here. Uh, all you got to do is open them up and take a look. That way you don't have to work through all that yourself at this point. We're working on home shopping, so let's go ahead and open that home shopping data document slide this out of the way and uh, bring this home shopping document in for you to see. Let's see if we can't make this fairly readable here. There we go. All right, so you can see you've got some information about, about the home shopping database, what the tables are and why they're there. The next page, this is awesome, is your ERD. So you can actually see what tables are in the database and each of the items in the tables are listed down here. So you don't have to do all that bouncing back and forth in MySQL. You can actually just open this up, print it out, whatever works for you, so that you can refer back and forth. Uh, this will help you immensely when you're working on these problems. So here we've got uh, a bunch of tables and we can see they're connected. Remember we talked a little bit about connections. We're going to get deeper into these connections in uh, chapter 4, module 4. But for now just know these connections that you see are important and we use these connections to help us figure out which tables we need. So what do we need first? Let's see. We need to find fields last and first. Well those are customer names. So if we look over here we can see we've got customer names last and first in the home shopping database, the HS Cust table. So we know we want HS Cust as one of our tables. We also need order ID and order date. So let's take a look here. Let's see. No order ID or order date in this HS Cust, so it's definitely a multiple table query. We can see them in two other places. I've got them in this HS line item. I've got an order ID, but I don't have an order date. So maybe it's a three table query? I don't know. How would I tell? Well, I look at these connections. The table's got to be connected most of the time. There are a few exceptions, but generally speaking, you need to have the same column here, or yeah, the same column here as you have over here. So we can see here we have a cust ID, and it's tied to cust ID. So we know these two tables are linked. And look, in this HS orders table, there is also an order date. So it's a pretty good guess. And yeah, to some degree at this point, you're taking a guess to see if it works, and then you may have to go back and try again if it didn't work. But in this case, it's a pretty fair guess that it's two tables that we're working with, because this one table is connected to the other table, and it does have both an order date and a cust ID. So we know we want HS orders as our tables. So HS orders are our two tables. 
Now we need to make sure we have exactly the right field names. So last and first. Let's go ahead and say hscust.last. hscust.first. That'll make sure we're pulling them from the right table. Let's see. For order ID, it's actually called order ID with a capital I. So we'll put that there. That's going to be in the HS orders dot order ID with a capital I. And what about order date? Order date is all one word, all small case. So that one's going to be HS orders and order date, all one word. So we know our fields, we know our tables. What else do we need to know? Well, we need to know how we're going to connect these items. So let's look at our question here. We want to uh, show all of the orders placed. So let's see, orders placed, how would I find that? Well, if it's got an order date, that must be when it was placed. So let's look back here at our table. Orders placed, what could we use to connect those on? Well, the tables are connected right here. So there's our answer. We can connect on customer ID to cust ID. Now do notice that they're written just a little bit differently. But see, this one's all lowercase. This one's got an uppercase letter. That's okay. They don't have to have the same name. Um, but that connector tells us to connect those two. So let's put a connection. So where we're going to connect is we're going to say, we're going to connect on cust ID. So we're going to use hscust.cust ID. And it's got to equal to the HS orders dot cust ID. And that's the name on the other one. See that? So what I'm saying is basically I'm just saying connect the same way this line is connected. Connect from HS cust cust ID to HS cust ID. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell me everything where these two are equal, which will show me all of the orders placed. So what do I need to do with this? Well, let's see. Let's turn this into SQL. For my fields, I know anytime I want fields, I do a select, right? For my tables, I know anytime I've got a table, that's a from. My connections, that's a filter, right? So that's going to be a where. So I'm saying select these fields from these two tables but only where the customer ID is the same in both tables. And let's see, what else do I need? I need to order by increasing order ID. So that's pretty simple. It tells me right there, right? I went on to order by. Let's see. Order ID we already had up here, right? So HS orders dot order ID. And that'll put them in order. So there's my SQL. I think. Let's take it over here and see what happens. All right, let's see, make sure it came over here. H cust first, H is order ID, order date, where cust ID equals order cust ID, order by order date. Let's run it and see what we get. All right, that's pretty good looking. So here I've got is I've got a bunch of order IDs and order dates. Now, what if I'm not sure I've connected this right? I'm looking at all this data and I'm thinking to myself, well, it looks good, but I actually don't know if it's right or not. Well, I could go in and I could do uh, a hand sort of all these rows in both tables and look and compare and make sure they all have the same order ID because that's what I connected on, right? Or, excuse me, the customer ID. Or what I could do in here is I could go back in here and edit it. And I could go ahead and add one more thing here. Let me add uh, hscust.order, excuse me, cust ID. And let's see what we get now. So now I've got a customer ID for HS Cust. That's good. Let's add one more. Let's add the other side of that join. 
which is HS orders dot cust ID. Now, why am I doing this? Because here's my join. My join says show me everything where HS cust cust ID and HS orders cust ID are the same. So now that I've selected both of those columns, they'll show in my rows and I can compare. Look, cust ID is the same on each one of these. As long as each of those are the same, I can feel really comfortable that I've gotten the right information in each one of those rows. All right. So one more time, we selected each of these rows that we wanted or fields that we wanted. We selected them from the two tables we found them in. And remember, we looked at our ERD for that. Where cust ID equals cust ID. So only give me the set where the records in HS cust have the same customer ID as the records in HS order. And then order by HS orders, order ID. And the report I get does in fact list the customer's first and last name, the order ID, and the order date for all orders placed. And then I've got some extra data over here so I can double check and got my that I got my record my records right. Okay. That should do it for that one. I'll do plenty more of these.